it's a, I am not complaining. I'm so excited that we've been on back to back deadlines for three weeks. However, I do need a week of like, can we get our life together? So I'm going to show you how I do that after like a nonstop building month, essentially. Just in case you forgot what the kitchen looked like that we've been working on, well, it looked a little something like this. And we're gonna be focusing on this window that wasn't there that Allie cut out that I wanna turn into like an indoor, outdoor dining, if you will, just countertop space. That's our focus today. Okay, right, I joined TikTok and what does the algorithm serve me? This easy, quick way to tile. Um, you literally apparently can just like roll this out, stick it on the wall and then stick the tile to it and you're solid. I have no faith that it's actually gonna work but I hate tiling. <laughs> Let's test it out. I am almost positive that when you put the sticky mat on the wall, you're supposed to install the tile directly after, but I just didn't. I decided to leave it overnight to see if the mat itself would hold up on to the wall that I stuck it to just to see how sticky it really was. I'm not gonna put the tile on right now. Oh, I'm just, we've been go, go, going. I just need to go into the park and just forget things a bit. So come with me. When I walked in the next morning and the mat was still on the wall, I was pleasantly surprised. Before I stuck the tile to it though, I just made sure I ran over it and smoothed it out as much as I can to get the air bubbles gone before exposing the sticky part. Once the sticky part is exposed, I thought I needed to move quickly for whatever reason, but quite frankly, this tile job took me a couple of days and the stickiness stayed throughout the entire time. I do have to say that if you are using this mat, I would highly recommend making sure whatever you are tiling is level because you don't have that mortar to work with to build up a level or take away to make level. But outside of that, I honestly would highly recommend this product. If you guys have been following me for any length of time, I have not changed my boots. It is about time that I upgrade. Well, thank you, Bloodstone, because that is what we're doing exactly throughout this episode today, all thanks to them. And let me tell you, their women's classic Chelsea boot, mm -mm, it is the cutest thing that I put on my feet as of late. 
The number one thing that I love the most is how damn durable, cute, comfortable, rugged, iconic, travel ready, weather ready, desert ready, dog ready, DIY ready that these things are. I have put them through the ringer. I love the pull tags on the front and the back for me and my lanky little hands. It just comes in handy when I'm trying to grab and go with my shoes and I can get them on the first time versus like stumbling and tripping. Unlike with my last work boot, if I was out and randomly got asked on a date, let me tell you, the Bloodstones, they go from work to date extremely well. If you guys are interested in checking out the Chelsea boot or any of their other classics, go ahead and click the link down in the description. And also I pinned it in the comment for you as well. I am super pumped on these. I am so excited to actually have like proper boots on my feet. Thank you so much, Bloodstone. But let's get back into the DIY. Okay, so I did the tile because I was excited. Um, and then quickly after I did the tile, I realized it's not even what you guys have experienced with me. As bummed as I am, I have more of the sticky mud if it's not sticky enough to hold these tiles when I retile. So I'm gonna hang, like I'm literally gonna frame this out because it is such a picture. I'm literally gonna put picture frame hanging on it. I was really excited about this picture frame idea. Actually, one of you guys gave this to me. So I started to add the trim to the top and that is where I quickly realized everything was just so ridiculously uneven. I don't understand. I am not going to be doing butcher block all around the kitchen. I am just gonna be doing it for this, what I'm calling breakfast nook. So there will be some overhang going outside of the trailer where you can pull up some seats after I do the deck and you'll be able to sit and enjoy the meal, talk to people in the kitchen, or I can just open up that custom window that I'm gonna make and be able to use it as an entire butcher block um, to prep my meals and my food, or even display like a charcuterie board. The possibilities are endless. I started mixing wood tones and doing that picture frame trim to the end of some shelves that I installed to add some texture. These are very similar to the trim that I did in the pottery room that we made over together. I do not it is understand who is like putting this in their van. Like, and they're just bringing it around with them. I mean, maybe people mount them to the top of their cars or something. I mean, like, it's the flat. Like, it's crazy that it's, like, sexy, it. but, like, what? Like, I guess you Where could... do people put it? Like, underneath their bed? Maybe. It's like, I didn't say it, but my head, I'm like... Don't ask questions yeah. you don't want answers <laughs> to. <laughs> it's so massive. It has no right to be. <laughs> Okay, so I am about to finish the tile, or cutting it at least. The longest part of this DIY, honestly, was making it even, since past Rachel didn't care about future Rachel's problem. And now that that is even, we can move forward with finishing the details, which I have help from my dear friend Hannah, and who I just love her so much. You guys will see more of our trip in another episode, but you're getting a glimpse of her now. I absolutely am in love with Hannah. I'm sure you guys know and love her already, but if you don't, you need to check out her channel. I am very honored that she took the time out to come out here and just hang in the desert because I just feel totally complete connecting with another wild woman.
There's like a few like more popular songs. You definitely know one of them, Slumber Party. I'll play that one because you'll probably know it. Just cut all these out. Sure. Sure. Is it Whoosh. Whoosh. <laughs> yeah, so basically you like let out a little bit of fuel. Like Hannah, if you're watching this, I just love you so much. Thank you for inspiring me to actually use the space that I have been creating over the last two years. And seriously, um, I miss you already. Love you. Mean it. And thank you guys for watching this episode. I'll see you soon for another DIY. Cheers. Oh my God. I can't believe it. Oh my God. First meal. Mm. Oh, wow. Right? Yeah, for I've never had the alfredo one. So good. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the table. Let's go. Thank you.